Hey everybody, this is Linda. Welcome to Lenny P's Place. Hope everyone is doing well today on this uh, beautiful Saturday, at least here where I am in North Carolina. It's a beautiful day. Um, so I haven't been to the thrift store in a month because I challenged myself to stay away, and I did. I managed to not go all month. So <laughs> yesterday I decided it was July the 1st and I needed to go to the thrift store. So I went to my favorite thrift store and had a little visit with my friend Lynn who is a bit of birdsong here on YouTube and did a small haul, not a great big one because I was only looking for Christmas items. So, anyway, I did run across two um, books. This one, I came home and realized I already had. So, I think that this will be, uh, be coming in a giveaway um, in the next uh, month or so. I'll be including this in a giveaway because, like I said, I already had it. I just didn't remember buying it, but I guess I did. So anyway, there's that, which, well, let me show you inside. It's really cute. Um, it's just about doodles. Um, you know, just cute little uh, embroidery things, just some ideas of different things you can do, and uh, little, just gives you some, yeah, prompts or ideas, whatever you want to call them for doing some cute little things. You see this little little thing with circles, little trees with circles, and just simple little stitches to create little little projects. So there's a cute little pin cushion you can make. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm not going to spend much time looking through this, but um, so anyway, there's that. And then I found this, which is iron-on transfers. And uh, most of them, I think, are going to be too big to use in my stitchery. But there's a lot of uh, alphabets and some little gingerbread people, hearts and candy. And let me turn it this way. I think these are cute little angels, little stockings. And little gingerbread house. And then there's a lot of bigger things that I think would be too big to use um, in my stitchery book, but still really cute and fun little little things that can be used. So anyway, I got that. So those are the two books that I found. And then I found some fabrics. And uh, this pack is not necessarily Christmas, but it does have some Christmas. Um, it does have some Christmas colors in it, so I thought I might be able to use some of this. So I haven't opened these to to get them out to look at them. Excuse me for my reaching over. Um, but I thought we might could look at them together if you have time. Um, if not, you can fast forward by and just pick out the parts you want to watch. <laughs> Sometimes that's all we have time to do. But I still appreciate you coming by and saying hello, whether you have time to stay for the whole thing or not. Um, let me see if I can figure out how to get the thing open. There we go. Now, like I said, so, uh, these are not necessarily uh, Christmas fabrics, but they could certainly be used. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Uh, the colors are, are good, and I didn't have very much green stuff, so <clears throat> I thought, well, this could be not just for Christmas, but for other stuff. So I think that would would work. It's uh, 
it's dark this is not black it's a dark dark green and then a lighter lighter shade and then there's this this has little ladybugs on it um, it's the right colors just not the right um, patterns on them <laughs> but I think I can use them this could be used it's like got trees on it um, I may or may not need any of these now these are all kind of repeats so I'm not gonna take them all out um, but I got this for three dollars and then I also got this one which is very Christmassy it's all Christmas and um, so I think it'll I'll get a lot of, of uh, options out of this for using if I can figure out how to get it open I just opened one. You think I could remember how I did it, but nope. Did I do it this way? Don't remember. I think so. Whoops. Everything's always. Let's just do this. And then I'll get into it if I don't cut myself first. <laughs> this could take a while there we go got it that time I think part of it anyway I might would have been better off to use some scissors let me get some struggle is real <laughs> There we go. Tore that up pretty good, didn't I? Okay, just let me take this off because I don't want to get cut with it. Okay. All right, let's look at these. I think these are going to be really fun to work with. Some of them are the same, some of them are different. This is a cute one with the little hearts and birds and little trees so there's that then there's this which is not really Christmas but Christmas colors it's got little looks like little tulips on it it's little hearts is what it is I don't know I guess it would be okay um, plaid is always good that's the same one here's a different one Oh, this is cute. And this one's sparkly. I tried to find a blue pack, but there just wasn't any. Because I'm going to uh, attempt to do two journals. Don't know if that's going to happen, but I guess you could, that could be used. This is just a white piece. There's a lot of this green in there. Here's some little Christmas dogs and little dots this is a, a Christmas red it's showing up kind of orangey I don't I don't know why that happens uh, seem like most of the time it doesn't show up exactly the way it should that's just a piece of white fabric there let's see what's on this it's, it's kind of like a um, a Christmas heart theme going on here which I could do for a page I suppose well depends on the prompts we get I suppose for, my, for you that don't know what I'm talking about it's Roxy's Journal of Stitchery I bought these these uh, fabrics for that see I already showed that oh here's some nice little wreaths those are cute and I think the rest of this is all the same okay so that was a nice little assortment I got way more than I needed, but, and then I got some, um, just remnants, 
these were a dollar a piece and I love this. Let me see. I guess it doesn't matter. I think I like it this way. Um, doesn't really matter what's the front and what's the back. Oh, it goes on. Let me see. Let me open it up. Um, there's a little bit more to it than what I was showing. So I guess it goes like from, yeah, about here. It's, it's very pretty. I love this. Definitely be using this. So many. Look, cut each one of these out and use as trims. Yes, very pretty. I love this. So pretty. Okay, so I got this one. And then... This is... Mm, I liked it. Um, it's not necessarily so much Christmas, I don't think. But... Um, I liked this plaid, which would be good, and I think that was it. This here could be, yeah, this is this is a Christmas piece here. Someone has, um, you know, like quilted this already and chose these colors. So, but this one and this one I would use. Not so sure about that. Um, that's pretty, but not not for Christmas. I don't think I would use that for Christmas. Okay, so there's that one. And then um, I liked this. And this is like wheat uh, tied up with a Christmas bow and it's on a really dark, dark green um, background. It could, I guess it might be more of a Polish because it looks like it's got some sunflowers on it but you know you never know um, I got it and uh, I liked this a lot um, thought this would be a nice I got too much going on here it's messing with my camera, I think. Just a nice plaid, Christmassy plaid. And uh, then there's this piece, which is blue. I looked so hard for blue and couldn't find any. Found this. Let's figure out which way to... Uh, Turn it. Can't even figure out where to open it. There we go. Little snowman. That was cute. I could always cut those out and use them. Of course, we don't know what our prompts are yet, so I hope I haven't bought all this. And I don't think so, though. I think I can use it. I think it'll be fine. Um, like I said, I didn't have anything. Um, I don't normally do Christmas. It's just a busy time of year, and I usually just don't bother. So I don't have very much Christmassy stuff. Now, this is not necessarily Christmas, but I did like the red, and it does have some green, and these could be cut out and used for something. These could be used. Well, you can't even see those. These could be used... So it's, sometimes, you know, it doesn't always have to be uh, Christmas. It just, it just if you can kind of keep it the, with the colors, is good. And then I just have a, a few more. Uh, this is what I already showed you, I think. But, uh, yeah, this is what I already showed you. I got, I picked up two of these because um, I didn't get this in the other one, and I liked that. I thought, you know, that could be um, nice to use. And, of course, I love the red. I could, might could use a little bit of the blue. So, anyway, I picked that one up again. 
there wasn't all that much to choose from. There really wasn't. Um, they always have a table with rolled up remnants on it. And so I just chose, I picked out the Christmas ones, which this was all there was. And then um, I got this. I thought this was a good one. I hope you can see this. The lighting is not good. It's, it's so bright outside and it's coming in and washing out my fabrics, I think. See that? Anyway, it has a pretty uh, design on it. And then there's this one. And I think this is all. Yeah, I liked the colors on this. Uh -huh. I thought they would be nice to use. Because a lot of this will just be, you know, pieces for background. Not act the actual feature on the on the page. These are more for backgrounds, I guess. And then I got this one. And I just love this. And I'm going to have a at least one pink page. Isn't that pretty? And it, it looks Christmassy enough to me to work. It's got some gold in it, some pretty green and the pink. I just think it's it's pretty. And I can use it for other things too, I think. So I got that. So that's my fabrics. Um, I picked up a few stamps and there wasn't a lot of those either. This was all I could find. And I may have a few stamps, but I don't think I have very many if I have any at all. I have one small little box of Christmas stuff that I need to uh, look through. So I will, I'm going to uh, zoom in a little for this. There we go. Um, so I just found these. I liked this. This is a stamp. December 25th. And uh, I liked this North Pole uh, postage stamp. And yeah, so, and I like that little snowman. And really, that's all the stamps that, that I could find. So I did pick up those stamps. Because it's good to stamp on the fabric and then, you know, you can um, embroidery on it or embellish it in other ways um, with your stitching. So there were those. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Oh, I forgot one of these. Uh, I had one more fabric. Forgot to show you. This is really nice. And this looks so familiar. I'm not too sure that maybe I don't have some of this already that I might have purchased from somewhere else. But I like it. It has the uh, old, uh, you know, Santa Clauses. I love the colors. These are the colors that I like for Christmas. Um, more than the bright reds and the bright greens. I like these colors. And if at all possible, this is what my Christmas book will be out of, but I can't really say for sure because I don't know yet what the props are. We have to wait and see. Then I got three. I found three uh, skeins of embroidery. Uh, just a number five DMC pearl cottons. And are they pearl cottons? Maybe they're not. They're just cottons. Um, two different shades of green. And then I found this uh, Dye Works. And I think I already have this color. But I got it anyway. It's green. A couple shades of green and a little. Well, it's all different shades of green. It's variegated. Not showing up very well, I don't think. Um, and then I found a few laces, not many, because the laces are really scarce these days. I got this one. There's a yard of this, and it's, uh, it's got a little, uh, gold shine to it, so I thought, you know, it's got little gold threads running through it, so I thought this would make a good, uh, trim for my 
Christmas book and also I found these two because I don't have any I don't have <laughs> very little red and very little green so I don't have very many colors at all and as far as laces and trims go it's mostly creams and whites and yeah so I found this which I love it's a bit stained but I don't care it's okay with me if it's a little stained up Um, it's not really stained so much as it's just aged. It's yellow. I love that. It's an eyelet trim, and then you can you can run some ribbon through it if you want to. There was a yard of this. Well, it's, yeah, it's got fifteen and a half inch. It's one yard, 15 and a half in, uh, inches, so it's about a yard and a half of that, almost a yard and a half. And this has a yard and five inches on it. And this is, I think, is really pretty. Let's show you this. There we go. That's the right side. Isn't that pretty? Love that. And there again, it's one of the laces that you can uh, run a ribbon through it. And then there was this, and there's five yards of this. Five yards and 12 inches of this. Let's see if I can get it off of here so I can show it to you. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Love that. So I got a lot of that, but you can see here it's that piece is, I don't know what happened to that piece, but look how dark that is compared to the rest of it. Evidently it got, let me unwind it, it doesn't have to go very far, got something spilled on it, it looks like, or it's where, it's a different way that it was wound up, not sure which, but it's all in the same piece. Anyway, I got that, and... Um, so that's all from the scrap exchange, and then my husband and I went to another little thrift store that we visit quite often, and I found this. Isn't this just adorable? I'm going to put laces in it, and it was, look at that, 49 cents. See that? 49 cents for this. It just is so cute. Oh, I need to move back out. You can't even see. It's a little too far. There. Yeah, so it's, it's, it doesn't look like it's ever been used. I don't think there's ever been a pen stuck in there. It's so cute. Couldn't leave that there. Not for that price. So I got that, and then I got another one for 99 cents. Isn't this pretty? Um, the only thing wrong with it is that this right here is uh, broken. But, I mean, it's not, it's cracked, it's broke, little pieces broke off, but there's nothing wrong with it. It still works fine. And there again, I'm going to, I'm going to use it for some, I'm going to use it to put lace in. Um, and then I got some little things inside here. I got my granddaughter a pair of uh, children's scissors for 49 cents. I got some of these rubber fingertips. I like to, sometimes I need to use these when I'm sewing. Uh, now this is a medium and I normally use a small but they're not that not that big and they were 49 cents and there's quite a few in here so yeah so I can just put those on and use them to push my needle through or whatever and then I found a little desk vacuum cleaner and uh, let's see if I got anything on here we can clean up. <laughs> Not 
not really. I have a few little bases. Let's see if how it works. I know it. Uh, I know it works because there's it. I turned it on. Look at that. Just cleaned it right up. Kinda. Yeah. I mean, it'd probably work a whole lot better if it wasn't on this fabric. Yeah, look at that. And it's a little ladybug. Isn't she cute? <laughs> I needed that. That didn't come up, pick up, but I think it'll work better on a hard surface. And then I got a few rings. Um, when I did my little sweet pea, I needed a little bit smaller ring, which I since found that I had a whole a whole package of uh, assortments of different sizes. But these were 49 cents and they were one and a fourth and I think that's what I needed. So I'm going to switch out my rings on my little sweet pea to this size. And then let's see. I think I only have one thing left to show you. I don't think there's anything in it. Oh yeah, there, yeah, there is. I found this and this was 99 cents and it's so pretty. Isn't it a pretty, isn't it a pretty tin? And I'm going to keep laces in this too. Oh, it's a little, um, you know, discolored. Sorry about the light there. Um, I found these, this whole pack of card, and then this was inside. And then... Let me see these in here. A whole pack of these. And uh, this is nice weight. I mean, I could use these, not probably not for what they're used for, because I don't think I need them for, you know, filing or anything. But uh, they're a great size to use for cutting dies, little tiny dies, or just uh, probably fold them over and use them on the sides, you know, in journals or whatever. But they were 69 cents and these were in there with it for 69 cents. So, no need to leave those. And then, I don't know why I got this. I didn't really need it, but I got it anyway. This, uh, it's a, a foil... scrapbook paper from Recollections. Let's see if I can cut that. See if I can do this side. You see my hands don't always work. <laughs> it's embossed paper. And since I was using embossed paper. Oh, there's some gold. I was using embossed paper in my uh, sweet pea. I thought, well, yeah, why not? I could, if I want a white, I can use the back. If I want the colored, I'll use the front. Only of the gold ones, it looks like. No, of the just the shiny foil ones, which I probably won't use. But I could use this other. I'll figure out something to use it for. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, I got that. And then uh, there was this. This one. I'm not going to bother to. Uh, yeah, I will. Because I want to see what it looks like. I didn't really check it out all that close. I just. I pay 99 cents a piece for these. And these, I mean, you could use these as stencils. They're really cute, and they have like a, they feel like they have some type of a coating on them. They almost feel plast like plastic, um, but there's all different shades and all different uh, patterns. There's flowers. I like the leaves. I think they look nice. 
So anyway, those I've paid 99 cents a piece for. And uh, so that's it, dear. That's my haul. That's all of it. I love my little my little boxes I got. They're so cute. They're so pretty and the price was definitely right. Can't believe I got that one for 49 cents. It's so cute. Okay, that's my haul. That's everything that I got. And uh, thanks for stopping by and taking a look at my treasures. I probably, I'm going to try to only go to the thrift store one more time. And that's going to be to another one that my husband and I like to go to. We were actually going to go today. But my son called and needed him to come over and help him with the project he was working on. So, um, probably next weekend we might go. And then that's going to be it. I'm not going anymore. I'm going to start using what I have or doing without. <laughs> we know that's not going to happen, is it? But I am going to try really hard to just um, visit my favorite thrift stores only once a month. So anyway, I will um, talk to you guys later. I hope that you have a wonderful 4th of July, that you'll be safe and well, and hopefully you can be with the ones you love on this holiday weekend. Okay, thanks a lot for stopping by. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.